so today i'm going to show you how to install drupal 8 onto your windows computer so first when you're going before you in, can install you are going to be needed to you're needed to go to your browser and install a basic lamp server which it which for windows i'm going to use warm so you type warm and click on the first one which says warm server dot org come after doing that then you scroll down and there you'll find warm server 32 bit php 5.5 and warm server 64 bit if you have a 64 bit computer system then you'll download this one so 32 bit then you'll download this one because i'm using a 32 bit then i'll download 32 bit version then because you're going to need um microsoft visual studio c plus to run warm then you're going to be needed to download it so you press download and for 64 for you press on this for 32 you press on this i'm running at 32 so i'll press on the 32 and press next it's supposed to start downloading i already have that so i will not um really let it finish download also for the warm so to download warm now you press on 32 bit and this time you download directly You're supposed to come to this page and count down from five four three two one zero start downloading until download i'm gonna cancel it because i already have it so now after downloading that then you're going to be needed to go to drupal that org and you press on the first one and as you realize that there's a little section over here for a drupal 8 so press on drupal 8 in, in beta then click on this picture and after doing that then you can download the latest drupal beta releases and you'll find them right here for today we we will download Drupal 8 beta 3. So we'll press on the zip file and it's supposed to start downloading. Because I already have it, I'm not going to download it again. So now after doing all of that, then you go to your bro explorer and go to where your download files are saved. And then as you can see you have your warm server download file your microsoft visual studio downloaded file and your drupal 8 beta 3 downloaded file so first you'll need to do install the microsoft visual studio i install it because i already have it i'm not going to install it again also for the one you press run yes next i accept agreement next next create desktop and next install it and it will start installing because i already have it i'm not going to do it again and you are going to be needed to extract your drupal 8 file and it's supposed to be extracted and looking something like this and then put that drupal 8 file in after fin so after so when you have finished extracting that drupal 8 file then you go to your local list where you have saved one folder in that one folder you find a folder called www right and then that's where you will save your drupal 8 file so let's go to your downloads then you copy drupal 8 beta 3 file then go to one www and paste suppose to copy to it so as that copy, then I'll, I'll go to um, your web browser, and then you'll need to start warm server. Press yes. I suppose to look red, then go to green. Then you can click left click on it, and then go to PHP my admin. In order to get this user um this user login to come up i will show you how to 
So in order to make in order to enable this and um, to make this happen, you have to first go to users, then under root local host, then you create edit privileges and set your password. Press go. Okay, I got that thing wrong. And then you do the same thing for root and your root, root is this root. Okay, I'm going to fix this problem and come back to you. So now I fix the problem and I'm back. So now what you should do now is click on this route, edit privileges, and set the same password. Press go. I supposed to be set. When you read, you refresh the page. It's supposed to say yes for both of them. So now, what you should do now after this, you go to your your file manager. Then you go to your WAMP. Then go to apps, PHP my admin, configuration Inc. Scroll down until you see password and user so you change to your password to whatever you want it to be and then you save it So now you have saved that, then you're going to need to create a new user. I'm going to call this user Drupal. Select localhost and your password. After that, then you'll check all and go. So now, and after doing all that, then you're going to need to create a new database, which my database is going to also be new, Drupal, create, as you can see it's created over here, then go to privileges, you're supposed to see that they have passwords, right? So after doing that, you post out everything for Drupal 8. To test if your password do work, you close your Drupal, exit it, then you open it again. Your page me my go to page me my admin. I supposed to come up on the, a login page. Can log out in your user and your password are you supposed to log in so now that's all now so you're supposed to have everything cause your Drupal mm -mm, sorry your Drupal file supposed to be saved right there and uh, you can rename it whatever you like. I call my Drupal also.
and that's all so now you can create your drupal website so now you go to your first browser type in local host slash drupal or the file whatever file name you have saved it to and I suppose come up on this page so it's look quite much easier and more cooler than the normal Drupal 7 in under low, lower version of Drupal installations so you can press save and continue after you select your language standard save and continue And then there is, is where you get um you type your database information in. So you go use my database name is Drupal. So I type Drupal there, and your username, which is also Drupal. All right, and your password, which you have set and save on content. Because this might take a while, I'm going to skip all the install site. I'm going to pause it and skip all the installation site. But you should make it stay and should load and it should come up on this installation site where to install the, the, the databases onto your group onto your, into your Drupal database. So this database will become filled with all it starts filling already with databases. As you can see, but you have more databases, so I'm gonna skip this out. I'll go and continue with the configuration site. As you can see, it's already started. So I'm gonna. Okay, now we are back to the configuration site. So now, first, you have to create a site name. I'm gonna call mine Zupo. It could be anything you want to be. Then you put in your email address, that's optional. And your site maintenance, which is what you're going to use to be to go into your site and come out of your site. So your username, which mine is right here, and your password. This will automatically come in, and then you send your country. And then your time zone, children, and then you can either check the both or check one of them, but I will not check. So you email, you can you can check it if you want, and then I'll save and continue, and you have to wait until you come on your site.
So now, after you've done that, it's post up onto the stage where you can take this up if you will have it up soon. Go onto your website page. Some um, obvious thing which is quite new to Drupal 8. You got that the school arrow which can make your dashboard goes up and down. And there's like a compile um compile dashboard you can see. It's like this long thing journal from here. On the management you'll find your content structure appearance, extend propagation and support and help, your shortcuts and your profile information. Um so that's some of the main details features of this new Drupal 8. So 